Can you just tell us a little bit about that drawing? Um, the drawing is based on the story of Arwen and a magic cauldron. Mm. And it's about a, um, a woman who had an ugly child and she was having another child and she wanted that child to be beautiful. So I think the cook made a special broth in the cauldron. It would give her a, a good looking, amazing, child. super child. Um, but the cook got a bit on his arm and turned him into, he transformed into this perfect guy and she chased him and he, they both turned into animals and chasing each other and finally he turned himself into a piece of corn. So yeah, these are the animals, or some of the animals that they, they changed into while chasing each other. The magic cauldron, the, the mother looking a little bit an anxious and um, this general magical cosmic Arwen. Is that a kind of familiar theme style drawing for you? It is, yeah, and the content as well. I've just done some work in Wales based on myths and found that enormously uh, in, in inspiring and lots and lots of ideas from that. So for me, at the moment, like myth, particularly Welsh myth is like almost like a bit of a muse for me really. I've really, really, um, I find that everything I'm drawing at the moment in my sketchbook that is usually looks a bit medieval or otherworldly. And I think my, my work's had that anyway. I've always been interested in myth and folklore and all these things. I love the idea of like, you know, lots of old myths, there was people who could change into other things, you know, and, and in this story, they, they changed. Yeah, the changeling is a familiar theme across the world in myth and folklore. So yeah, there's like a changing thing going on in that them changing into animals that chase each other. And um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really interested in that, in things that can transform. Because I, I used to draw a lot of mon monsters and then it started to more, draw more humans again. And recently, I like the, the mix of the two. So it's something that's half, half human and half sort of other from, you know, the underworld. So that's the backbone to your creative uh, kind of thinking. It is based on myths. It's based on or getting, or getting my inspiration from myths. And um, I think sometimes it's uh, you, you, inspiration finds you sometimes rather than going looking for it. And with the, myth, the stuff I've done with the myth, that's kind of what's happened really. Um, I think because my work, my works, touches on folklore and things like that. And I sort of invented my own when I was doing all the monsters and things. So I think you know people were attracted to my work, but then you get paid to do a job you really enjoy. Then off that comes you know, different ideas about things, and you need to. I was looking for looking for that with my own work, and I think because of my being being Welsh. And then sort of being reintroduced to these myths, it's like, wow, oh, it's brilliant, I've got loads of ideas. So it's something that's already there, you know, it's not something new, it's like a heritage of Welsh literature and, and, and myth is like massively inspiring. And I think now as well, you know, you've got Game of Thrones, everyone's kind of really interested in castles and dragons and armour and all this. And like, well, you know, Welsh myths has got it all really. It makes Game of Thrones look like children's TV programme. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I really like things like that. The, the ideas there, the kind of crazy ideas mm -hmm. there, and it's then you to interpret it um, in your own way, and that's the kind of really fun bit. And things jump out at me um, when, I, when I'm reading myths, and I think, oh yeah, I can visualise it straight away. I did a um, mural for the I Stedford, and I was given a story there to, to, to interpret, and um, <clears throat> I was given sev several stories, and one of them, that I ended up using for the mural just jumped out. I, like, I, I saw it in my head straight away. I went, yeah, no, I know what this is going to look like. Just a flash, like someone just showing you, drawing really quickly, that, yes. So it's great, you know, when that happens, it's brilliant. And I'm finding at the moment a lot of old um, stories from Wales are like really, really inspiring. So um, yeah, I'm going to be doing more, definitely. Brilliant. <laughs>